Today, people over the age of 75 began getting vaccinated at county locations, including the vaccination superstation near Petco Park. So this is a personal story for me. I was actually able to get my mom an appointment. She's 82 years old with Alzheimer's disease and heart disease. So it was crucial. Our appointment was at 945. And to be honest, Carla, my emotions a little bit up and down, excited, but also worried that she might have some adverse reactions. But we went and I'm happy to say that tonight she's doing fine. And I wanted to share a little bit of our journey with you. All right, here we go. Our appointment time was at 945. There was no line when we went, but maybe that's because our appointment was early in the day. So I don't know if the lines build up as the day goes on. Are all these people coming for the shots? Yep. All these people are getting the shot, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep, this is to keep you safe, Mom. Huh? This is going to keep you safe. Oh, thank you. Turn off videos. See? No videos. No videos. Okay. Okay. There were signs at that point that said no video, so I turned off the video. A really kind nurse came and greeted my mom at the window. I would recommend that you wear a short sleeve shirt so that you can get your vaccine through the window. I did ask for permission to take a couple photos of just my mom during the shot and the nurse said, of course. So here she is getting it. My mom was a little nervous on our drive down, but after she got the shot, she seemed really happy. I got my COVID-19 vaccine. Oh, you want it? Smile. You want to put it on? No. Yeah, put it on. You got the vaccine today. This is for you. We waited with the other group of cars that we were with to make sure that my mom didn't have any side effects. It's been about 10 minutes. How are you feeling? You mean I already had this 10 minutes yeah. shot? Yeah. I don't feel nothing. Okay, good. Do you feel good knowing that you have one, one dose of the vaccine? Well, I don't feel nothing, so I should feel good. I mean, I didn't get sick for getting the, you know, even some people get a shot, mm -hmm. they get sick. Yeah. I, I don't, I actually think I'm even more alive now. <laughs> Good. And we were done about 20 minutes later. Mom, you're cleared. We can leave. I thank you. We're done. So in and out about 30 minutes. And here are a couple of important things. I was not told to log back onto UCSD's health portal, but I did out of curiosity. And I was surprised that I was already able to schedule her second dose for four weeks from today. So do that. Also, they encourage you to sign up for something called VCheck. It's an after vaccination health care tracker to keep track of any potential side effects. So I registered my mom for that also. And I just checked in at home. She's feeling fine tonight. The doctor, Carlo, did suggest that we give her a dose of Tylenol because sometimes there can be pain at the injection site or a mild fever, but she's doing well. And I, I was really surprised how streamlined it was and very impressed. A lot of those physicians and nurses out at the UCSD say stations are volunteering on their day off. Hard so, people. Yeah. A lot of people are worried about side effects. And we yes. heard about last week we had six, 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 six. reactions to what they're calling a bad batch of the vaccine. Right. But no, a very small no side effects right now for you. None for my mom. So. That is great to just hear.